Yeah, it's about that time again, guys. I ran into, okay, he's now the number one player again. Obviously, for some reason, I just, I, whatever, who, whichever one of them is the number one player at the time, I keep running into, whether it's Volterax, Seattle Bum, whatever it is, bro, I'm gonna run into him. Uh, this is the first time I think that I ran into him after the most recent patch. Um, the patch where it's just like, it, it's wild. Like there's heat in the game, but for the most part, it's not consistent. And if you just know simple slide protection, like they made it so basic, you can slide protect anything. But in this game, we're gonna both, you know, we both have different types of heat. I, oh, okay, oh, hot dot, bro, he's, okay, Charles Woodson, that's why you got, that's why I got rid of you. That's why, right there, because you had a good game against Volterrax, but then you gonna come out here and act like your pants are down, dog? Like, pick him up, though. All right, oh, bro, look at it, look at his right hand. Bro, dr r r pick it, go, what the, f oh my God. All right, so, um, Bar didn't come to play today, pretty much. He, he didn't come to play. That right there was going back for six. That would have been a great, huge, it, it would have took so much pressure off uh, to start the game. Um, obviously, the lurk, this dude had greased up hands. Um, like, he was hanging out with Eddie Lacy and eating freaking deep fried turkeys on sticks, dog. Like, why would you, ah, oh, man, it doesn't really matter, man, but the game goes on. Um, either way, every game that I've played, see, I think I've only beaten Seattle um in madden 16 in during the enraged um gameplay when everybody grew like seven eight feet or whatever like that that video is still available uh at gmars world on youtube i don't know where it is exactly i'm pretty sure you guys can find it um but yeah uh that I, but we've played I, I don't know i think i think he's beaten me like three times this year i think i'm like one and three but i'm not sure and i don't really give a f but i know i, I think I, I know only got that one win during that one time and um He's, he's pretty much uh, won every other game after that. And it's, it's been close games for the most part, but either I can't score in the red zone or something else happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, like, in this game right here, I'm going to have, like, three picks, and you're not going to beat a guy with this much experience throwing three picks. Like, it, it's not going to happen. So me being the jackass that I am, I'm going to throw three picks, and, bro, listen, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's, oh, okay. Bro, he's sending heaters? Bro, bro, he got heaters now? Okay. Yo, bro, more heaters? Thank you. Bro, bro, heaters? Yes, please. Like, what the F are you, my, my old line doing? Rex Dixon made it freaking foolproof so that nobody's not supposed to come in. Oh, but that's Night Train Big Dick Lane right there, though. What the hell is he doing? How does everybody have a Night Train Big Dick Lane? It's like this guy is mad cheap. Is he cheap now? Because every freaking pl person I play... This guy's out there running around with his name out there, Night Train Big Dick Lane. All right, whatever, man. Um, so we go ahead and take our three at 7-3. And keep in mind, most of our games start off like this. You know what I'm saying, bro? It just, it's the way it is. Because when you're playing somebody that kn that you know understands the game, you play a little differently. Because now it's just like, you got to figure out what you can get away with and what you can't get away with. It's not like you're playing like a bum that's coming out, running all stock blitzes and asking Madden what play to pick. You know, you're playing a guy that... You know, it's pretty familiar with the game, so you got to be careful with the things that you do. And like I said, all I can do is send the heat that I work on. Oh, what? Oh, that's a dot. That's a dot. That's a dot. Oh, what? Hold up. What? Yo, bro, send this heater on him, dog. Yo, but wait a minute. I was out of bounds, though? Yo, bro, look like his feet was clearly in bounds. Okay. Yo, I like the way this is going. All right, whatever. Yo, okay, he threw it right to me there. All right, we put him in a proper zone. For the first time, they played zone. That was actually interesting. Cause I did put him in the yellow and he actually floated back and stayed there. Usually he floats out of the stadium into the parking lot and starts tailgating with fans when I put him in the yellow zone. So that was pretty good to see that happen. Um, you know, so either way, okay, so we go up 10-7. You know, three points doesn't mean anything. And we all know that it's Madden 16, like points come up regardless. So I'm over here trying to focus like, all right, we got to get another stop. And um, we're going to pretty much work pretty hard to get the stop. I don't know what's going to happen, but I know I'm going to get the ball back. And I think I'm just going to start throwing picks like a maniac. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. What the hell? Oh, that, that, oh, 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 he got the moves like Jagger, though. Yo, girl, yo, pick your ankles up. Who, who's on my defense right there? I think that's why I got rid of Mo, because that's the old Dupree. I actually enhanced my team after this game. So if you guys haven't seen one of my most current videos with the uh, lineup update, uh, when I'm talking about TJ Yeldon, you guys can see the... Um, the updated team right there that's just a dot the, the, the out routes like that when they're up high very very hard to defend um purple routes they go into heaven and start talking to the lord and shit they don't even stay anywhere near where you put them like you know usual uh zone so that that right there you just have to know what's going on with that and, he, and, I, and i knew he was going to do that but i didn't get over to the guy to put him in the proper zone what am i talking about proper zone i'm such i'm a complete douche i already know the zones is not gonna be anywhere near but it just sounds good to say it um Either way, we're down four, and that's manageable. You know what I'm saying? Now we just got to move the ball, and then we got to gauge, um, you know, what type of, what kind of D he's running and what's happening. But look, look at my guy standing up right there. 
EA can patch every blitz, they can patch every, but they can't patch dumb shit like this. Like, he kicking his foot too, like, that's what he's supposed to be doing. Like, is this motherfucker really serious? Like, what, what? they patch everything, bro. They patch all kinds of things with the patch and all kinds of patch with the non-patch, and they can't patch that. Like, bro, my dudes, I got a video where my dude is just diving on the ground, out of bounds, trying to get me booted. Like, why, why are we not focusing on the gameplay? That's what's so frustrating with, yo, it's so ridiculous, because now I got to burn the timeout. You see what I'm saying, bro? So now I can't really do the things I want to do because I can't, you know, I can't risk throwing post routes in the middle of the field. Then this dude is sending monster heat and I'm getting smashed. Like, what the F? Oh, oh, throw a hot dot, throw a hot dot. Yes, yes. Oh, I thought he was gonna throw the hot dot right there. Because, you know, I got rid of Mike Vick. Mike Vick, he, he's a bum. That dude is so garbage. And then I don't understand it's Mike Vick. He's running around the same way that Tom Brady would run around in the backfield. Like, why? Why is that a thing? That doesn't even make any sense. Right there, we had to send another heater. Um, but, like, I don't understand. I hope they fix that for Madden 17, dog. Like, I really just don't understand. Bro, please catch the ball. Please catch the ball. All right, don't. Oh, don't. I, yo, bro, whatever. It don't matter to me. You can do whatever you want, actually. But you know what? You're going to do whatever you want off my team. See, that's the catch, though. And then before you leave, I'm going to shoot you in your kneecaps. So, you know, that's the way we do it out here in g as well. Either way, we got the ball back. So, I'm not even set tripping. You know, for all my dudes in Cali, I'm not even set tripping out here. I'm, I'm ready to ride on this punk trick. But at the same time, my dudes are not ready. What is Cal what? But is that the 98 Calvin? Yeah, this is before I got rid of him. I sold him instantly because he just didn't do. What is this? Yo, Night Train Big Dick Lane was passing the fans to me all the way down the field. Like that's not how they're supposed to be able to play defense. Um, right here, I'm trying to establish a run a little bit. I, oh my goodness, what am I doing? Why did I throw it to him? That was such a bad read. God damn it. Oh my god, yo, good shit, Nitro and Big Dick Lane. I don't I cannot believe that I just threw that ball right there. And and you know what was crazy? During the street, oh, Lurk, bro, Lurk, Lurk. That that was that was good user right there. Bro, he just lurked me. There's no excuse for that. You see what I'm saying, guys? Like, look, if I lose and the reason because of my the reason because of my loss is not the the whole infamous aggressive catch when a dude is throwing it into quintuple coverage or whatever, and it's just like, okay, yo, dude, dude lurked. That was a good what kind of throw was that? That was that how the hell did he do that? Um, I have no problem with it. Like, that was a straight lurk. That was a completely ridiculous Stevie Wonder read on my part. And everything underneath that you can use her, that's still here in Madden 16. It's when it comes down to the secondary. Uh, what, did I say secondary? Secondary. Because I'm going crazy. I'm losing brain cells by the day every time I play this game. When you're in the secondary, you know, prior to a lot of the, the more recent games, you had to strafe and then hold the button to pick the ball. Now it went from just ball hawk to now you just hold the button, you just do whatever you want. Like it, it became so simple and then now it's all predetermined or scheduled. Cause you could actually look at your watch and know when the pick is gonna come. So they have scheduled picks where you can, okay, he did another one. He lurked me right there, but I was under pressure so I just threw it. So that was a second lurk. So you're not going to beat, you know, good competitors when you're throwing picks that directly to him. Like I'm not, the other guy was wide open. But you know, like when you just think like, you know what? I don't even give a F, I'm gonna throw it up. That's the kind of mentality, the, the mentality that I have right now. I don't even care, but that can only happen when I'm throwing far in the secondary. I can't do that underneath. And that's what I don't understand why I'm doing it. Like, why did I throw it right to him every time? But that's on me, I'm the jackass. You guys just make sure that when you play him, you don't do that. He's When he's lurking underneath, just throw it away from wherever he's at, because that's what I should have been doing. Because the game is designed that anything can happen. Oh, not your big dick link. Good stuff by you. Um, it's designed that anything happens in the secondary. So a smart player, unlike myself, would just throw it up in the air in the secondary where good things can happen. But me, I was being a jackass and throwing it underneath and uh, I got what was coming to me. So I threw two picks right here. I'm just gonna throw it up again. Look at this right here though. Look at this, watch this, watch this. How? 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 And then he regains his balance in the end zone, and then we get a safety. Like, EA Sports had to give me something for that. That was just completely and utterly ridiculous. I don't know what the hell. You know what, bro? I'm not even going to um, acknowledge the fact that Patman Jones picked that. I'm just going to ignore it. Because other than that, the game was actually, you know, I, I this game, it was nothing ridiculous that determined the outcome of this game. I dropped the pick. He picked me up by lurking me twice. It was great user by him, um, and that was it. It wasn't really a lot of BS in this game where it's like a dude's getting an animation where he's diving on his back and catching him. You know that stupid-ass animation where you're right there and he just dives up ahead of you? Like It was none of that stuff going on, so it wasn't like the typical stuff. I just got my ass whipped because I'm a douchebag. 
and I made Stevie Wonder reads, and I got what's coming to me, bro. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I got to deal with that. Um, obviously, I know I'll run into him again because he, he streams regularly, so it's not a big deal to me. Uh, I know exactly what happened in this game and why he beat me. He simply had more points than me. All right, let me just stop. Look, the guy, the guy took care of business the way you're supposed to. You know, you know, ride on the mark ass buster, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And um, that's pretty much what happened. So at the end of the game, I'm just trying to figure. He, he put him in the yellow. God damn! He started running Grandpa Nutsack D in the three D, and um, he put that deep blue in the yellow, and he came down and picked that right there. But I don't know why I would have done that if I was that close to the red zone. I, I just did a lot of stupidness. I, I really, I really can't explain what's happening in this game. I'm not even gonna bring up the fact that it was so much stuff going on in my house at the time, and people are talking to me, and crap is happening, and I can't focus. But I got my ass whipped, bro. Like I gotta be able to multitask. And then, oh, okay, we set the heaters, bro. We set the heaters and it hit stick them, but these dudes are strong out here. But it's oh, oh, throw it crazy, throw it crazy, yes, throw it real crazy. Dot, dot, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Yes, bro. Yes. All right, so what are we doing here? Throwing a hot dot? Nope. Okay, the boys gonna come out. The guys gonna run around. They don't know what they're doing. All right, so he's still in Grandpa Nutsack D. He's playing the middle of the field. Oh, I love that animation right there. It just turns me on. That animation right there just turns me on. I don't know what the hell that is, bro. Like, the guy doesn't even turn around and try to pick the ball. And he, like, lifts it up from the thing. I don't know what that is. But, um... That was probably the most ridiculous animation of the game, and it didn't really matter because I'm getting my ass whipped anyway, so none of that really matters. So either way, it's always... Why are you rushing to the line? It don't matter. The game is up. Don't even act like you cared, Stafford. M meet me in my office. I got your wife in there waiting for you. Um, so that's pretty much what it is. Uh, playing the number one PS4 player currently. Again, I've played Volterax. I've played Seattle Bomb. They're all on the channel. Enjoy whichever way it happens, whether I'm blown out or whatever like that. And I just put this there for verification that at that time, he was the number one. You got guys like, he's not number one no more. It's Volterax. No, it's not, douchebag. It's him right now. Until next time, one love.